Good day, my name is Dr. Ho Shu Fit and I'm a consultant ophthalmologist in KMC Medical Center in Ipoh. Today, I would like to talk to you about pterygium. What exactly is pterygium? It's a fibrovascular growth uh, from the conjunctiva to the cornea. As you can see, this one is a cornea and that is a conjunctiva. And you can see that there's a tissue from here growing to here, stuck it on here. The good thing about this condition is that it is not a cancer, so don't worry about it. However, it can cause a few problems too, such as irritation and foreign body because there was something stuck there, and it also can cause dry eye because the tear gum cannot run through it very well, and sometimes it can cause tearing, and sometimes, as you can see, it can become inflamed, causing redness, and because it's pressed on the cornea, it can also cause astigmatism. If it continues to grow, to run over to the central cornea, it can also cause reduced in vision. So, let's talk a little bit about an astigmatism associated with the pterygia. As you can see, in this eye, there was this little thing pressed on here. So, this part of the eye becomes flatter, which is dark blue in color. And for this one, which is more severe, it pressed on this one, causes it to be flatter, and the opposite side, 90 degree to it, becomes steeper. And therefore, when people look at the light, you can see the streak of light a bit like this. And that can be quite disturbing to the patient too. Okay, people wonder what actually can cause this one. It's actually very common in Malaysia because we live in a tropical country full with the UV sunlight. Be it a farmer who lives in Cameron, even though it doesn't see the sunlight, but there's still a lot of UV there. People who work in construction, even housewives, uh, who drive the children around that can also cause problem because the UV light can come from this part cause internal reflection and causing problem here and of course there are some genetic predisposition people who are older are more prone to have it and of course for male who commonly work outdoor are more likely to get it compared to women so what would be the treatment the first thing for people say would it go away on its own Sorry, it doesn't. So what can we do about it? If it causes irritation, people can use a lubricant on the eye to make it moisture and to make it uh, more lubricate. And if it becomes red and inflamed, people can go to see a doctor who prescribes the anti-inflammatory drugs. And of course, if it's persistent and it causes a lot of discomfort, then people can opt for surgery. So what is the indication for surgery? When the eye is considered inflamed, red, even though they use a lot of medication or it doesn't like the look because like for example, the friends always say, hey, why your eye looks always red? Is there something wrong with you? Or because the lesion pressed on the eye so much causing astigmatism or it grew to central vision causing reduction in vision. And that will be indication for surgery. And one of the other indications is for my patient who want to have cataract surgery. Because imagine for people who have cataract surgery, the doctor will want to have a clear cornea to operate. And some also, because patients with uh, pterygium, they have astigmatism, they might need to have a more expensive toric lenses. So by doing the pterygium before the cataract surgery is quite useful too. And the surgery is actually pretty straightforward. Okay, so what we do is that doctor remove the, uh, the lesion there, take it off, scrape it off, and afterwards take a tissue for the, the other side, uh, the same side conjunctiva, move over here, add a suture or glue it together. It's less than one hour, the surgery will be finished, under tropical drops, and the patient can go home the same day. And this is, as you can see, the lesion, it goes to the, this part, the white, this thing here and causing redness after the operation this is very clear so the astigmatism has gone down and this part of the eye also become white so uh, people may say okay doctor what can we do to prevent this problem well I would suggest people wearing the sunglasses like this it's best to have the wrap around sunglasses so that the light UV light won't come from the side causing internal reflection to come in here. It's also best to have the one with 100% against UVA and UVB or 100% protection against the UV400. I hope you find this one helpful and uh, thank you very much for listening. Bye!